I want to share with you how to do a discovery call, strategy call, free call, whatever you call it. Some call it a free coaching session, but it's really a discovery call. At least that's what it is in my mind. So I think there's six steps to them. And, I, and I've done this for a while. I, I know my first couple were, holy colonies, I was just nervous as all get out. Um, but then they became very easy because I just, I building my business. So in a discovery call, if a lot of coaches, many coaches, right, start their business by offering a free discovery call and seeing if the person's right for them for their business and make them an offer. So I want to talk to you about something. The first step, and, and I'll put a sheet down below that, that you can get and kind of make your own thoughts on this is, one, you got to create a pre-ritual. And why I mean that, I said, I worked with one coach. I was actually took his coaching course uh, and he had everybody stand up and stretch and he'd do arm bends and all this stuff. And, you know, that was okay. But it, what I mean by pre-ritual is you have to get yourself ready. You got to get yourself excited. Right, because a coaching call is a coaching call. You're helping somebody. So you got to get yourself in a mindset to be able to help people. And I don't know what it is. It, it could be, you could meditate, you could jump up and down, but you got to get the blood flowing to be able to help these people. Okay, so let's say you got it ready. The call's going to open up. Now, when it happens, you want to open up as a leader and create trust, right? You're running the call. You know, you're the expert. So when the call starts, what you want to do, this is how this call is going to work. You know, and you, you got to be friendly, but, you know, just say, hey, John, uh, hey, Betty, here's what we do. This is a discovery call. I want to share with you what I do, and then we'll kind of see what there. See, now most people, right, they're going to hear you, and they're going to say, oh, they're going to make a sale. And you don't want to come about that. What you want to do is just make them comfortable. Find out their goals, but you want to lead the call. You want to be a listener, right? You're going to hear me talk about listening forever because that's where it's at. But you want to ask some questions. Okay, the next one. Third step. This is like an interview. I mean, I, I ran a business for a long time. Um, and I interview people. And, and the biggest thing was to get them to where they were comfortable to answer me because I wanted to see their personalities. I ran a retail store. You know, if they couldn't talk, it wasn't going to happen. Um, but a lot of people come in really nervous. So you're going to ask questions about their goals. You want to see if you're a good match, about what they want to accomplish in life. What do they want to do next? Why do they on this call? And again, it goes back to listening. You want to listen. Okay, so create a ritual. You open it up as a professional. You interviewed them. You're asking questions. Now the next one is you want to invite them to work with you. And you have to have your coaching plan down. But as you hear them as they talk, all of a sudden, you can say something like this. Hey, John, I have a great coaching program. I think I can really help with you. Would you like to hear more about it? That's all it is. You can explain the coaching plan right then, but I usually ask, I have a coaching plan. Or I have a coaching program that I think would really help you. Would you like to hear more about it? And they're going to say yes or no. All right, I give it to them. If they don't want to, they don't want to. But I don't want to coach them. <laughs> but you want to ask them. And you want to have your coaching program ready. Because as you talk to them, you can say, well, here's, here's the program I have that I think would work for you best. I have a six-month program. Because I think if we're going to accomplish something that is major in your life, it's going to take us six months to get there. We have a one-hour call every week. You can get in touch with me by text, by email, in between those calls. And this is, and you gotta give them their price. All right, and different options for their price. And then what happens? 
you're going to run into objections, right? An objection doesn't mean no, it's just usually stalling. And guess what? The biggest one is they don't have enough money. I hear it all the time. I didn't have enough money. Every coach I've hired, I didn't have enough money. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but I also knew how much they were going to help me. Or they might say they got to talk to their spouse or their partner or they don't have enough time. They just, what it is, is they just aren't ready to say yes yet. That's all it is. It's a stalling tactic. And you have to be aware of that. It's going to happen. So what I would do is find somebody to practice with. I really would. A, a trusted friend and go through a thing and say, well, this is my coaching practice. And have them say, no, nah, that's way too much money. I can't afford that. How can you do this? You're too high expensive. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then let you talk them through the objection. See, many times people say no because the timing's not right. My wife and I had to go through a boundary thing because we were, we would buy things just like boom. So in our life, we had to go, you know, we've learned to walk away. So if people say no to you, right, just ask me if you get in touch with them in a couple days and see if they say yes. Because usually that objection is just a matter they don't want to say yes at that moment. Now, I've also had clients that have come back to me in a year, in two years. The timing was just not right. And that's okay. Because you want the timing for them so they can come in your coaching program and you guys can achieve major things. Okay, the sixth step. Woo! You got to celebrate. You've just hired a client. Do you know what that's going to feel like? I talked to a coach once and he had a coaching group and I, there was no way I was going to do it. And we started on this call and we were laughing and joking around. He says, Hey, do you want to work with me? And I said, yes, right now. So then what he did, he said, well, here's what, what, what we're going to do. He told me the price. I hadn't even heard the price yet. It was too expensive for me to lump sum it at that time. So he set up a payment program. And we did it. So when people say yes, you have to tell them the next steps. You're going to send them a contract. It's like, and I don't know what your contract is, but I do have forms for you. You're going to send them a contract that I fill out this form. And on this form, there's a place for your credit card for either a full payment up front or you have a payment plan, whatever, whatever it is. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to take that credit card. Now, I use Stripe. Depending where you are, you might have to use something else, but Stripe or PayPal, I use Stripe. At the same time, I've also talked to people and we've developed this trust. I'm going to go say, hey, you ready to get started? Yeah. All right. Well, let me ask some questions. What's your credit card number? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your credit card number. I'm going to put it in my Stripe. I'm going to send you an invoice with the contract. Is that okay? I've done that. And it's worked. And as you develop your business, guess what? You'll be able to do that too. So down below. I have all this how to run a discovery call in a PDF for you. So grab it and let's start building your business. Y'all take care.